Hey guys, Kim here and you are tuned into Kim E the Diabetes MP. Now today, this is a new month. We are in March and I wanted to kind of tell you what we're going to be talking about in March. So for this month, the theme is diabetes complications. Now, I know that you all probably spend a lot of time educating your patients over the different complications and the risks that can come along with the diagnosis diabetes. This is something that we probably spend the majority of our education over. And I also realize that if you are a new nurse practitioner, this some of this stuff is probably maybe not connecting the dots for you. So I wanted to take some time to talk about this. Also, you may be aware that I started a segment on my channel called The Patient Corner. And for the month of March as well, I am going to also be talking about diabetes complications as well. So if by chance you find yourself not having time to explain different complications and different things to your patients, you can refer your patients to these videos. They're going to be quick. They're going to be just quick pointed videos and this can help you along with your patient education. So for this video, I'm going to primarily just be given an overview over diabetes complications. And then the future videos, I'll go into the more common complications one by one. But for today, just going to kind of talk about it at a bird's eye view, okay? Now we know that diabetes is a progressive disease. And because it is progressive and it affects every area of our body, from your hair, your skin, your nerves, your circulatory system, it can put people at a high chance for developing um, complications, okay? Now, for those who don't know, and just maybe even a refresher for those who do, complications are divided into two um, categories. You have your macrovascular and you have your microvascular. Now your macrovascular talks about the damage in the larger blood vessels. So you're going to be thinking more about your aorta. You're going to be thinking about um, the vessels that nourish your heart, the vessels that nourish the limbs. That's where you would start getting your PAD. Now again, um, also the vessels that um, nourish the brain. That's where you start to see people having strokes. That's your, mas your macrovascular. Now with your microvascular, you're going to start seeing the damage in the smaller blood vessels. These are the vessels that feed your eyes, where you'll have the retinopathy, the, the nerves, the neuropathy, the kidneys, the nephropathy, okay? All these opathies, okay? And so that, in a nutshell, those are your two categories. Now, in the previous month, in February, I've made some videos over CAD and I also made a video over kidney disease. And so for this month, I'm not going to really be talking about that, but I will be going into um, retinopathy, neuropathy, and also be talking extensively in, in your PAD. Well, that's all I have, guys. It was just a quick overview just to get us all on the same playing field as we move forward. And again, like I said, um, I covered CAD and kidney disease in the diabetic in last month's um, batch of content. So if you want to catch those videos, I'll link them in the description box. Also, as well as mentioned earlier, I'm also making the accompanying videos with the patient corner. So as I'm educating my nursing colleagues, I also want to give resources. If you find yourself short on time and need to have some extra education, I'll make vid videos throughout the month to help you with your patient education as well. Now, there is one thing that I do want to say before I log out here. Now, many of us, maybe many of us, I know for myself, I am in a lot of Facebook groups, nursing um, and nurse practitioner Facebook groups for networking, just to kind of be around my colleagues in a social setting on social media. And I'll be honest with you guys, I've come across some alarming comments and threads in these Facebook groups. And 
If you are a nurse, you know the term, nurses eat their young. And I remember being in nursing school and hearing that. I have witnessed that. And personally, I was never eight as a young nurse, but could have been okay had I not have had good older nurses that took me under their wings I definitely worked in units where there were nurses that would have definitely tried and attempted to do that to me I'm very sensitive about that I'm sensitive to workplace bullying um, because why I just don't get it and if any of you all are in some of these um, <laughs> groups, you probably have seen me be very vocal against uh, nursing bullying because I just don't feel like there's a place for it. And because of that, I really want to make sure that this platform is a mode to teach all nurses okay whether you be a nursing student or NP student you're a new nurse practitioner even a seasoned nurse practitioner I don't like this exclusiveness that if you have not been a nurse for so long you can't voice your opinions you can't talk about the things that you don't know none of us know everything but the best way that we can elevate our profession so we can get the respect that we need and deserve with other disciplines is if we work together and we help each other rise to the standard that needs to be out there. So I am making this public declaration. If you have not already known, I always kind of felt this way starting my, my YouTube channel, but I am really really laser focused on this that this platform is to teach and to encourage all nurses to be the best nurse that they possibly can be i simply want to be a resource and because of that i don't want to leave any nurse behind okay and that's actually probably going to be my motto from here on out is no nurse will be left behind as long as you have any contact with me okay guys that's all i have for you I know that last little bit was a little bit of a rant but I really feel passionate about this stuff okay guys so if this is something that you all uh, you like and you're really digging what I'm doing here if you are new go ahead and subscribe for me ding that notification bell so you do not miss an upload if you have been riding along this wave with me I appreciate you and I thank you and I do want to leave you with one thing Thing, something that I just said but you know what I feel like I need to remind you all this we will never ever leave a nurse behind okay all right bye guys